Welcome back to Honey Badger 3D Print and Paint. Today, back to the Frozen Mighty. But before we do that, roll those credits and a quick word from our sponsors. PCBWay are proud sponsors of the channel. They offer industry-leading 3D printing services covering all types of materials and processes. They also offer industry-leading online CNC machine services from milling, machining, and turning in all the materials you could possibly need. They also offer a fully online prototyping PCB service. Everything from assembly through to design, you can do it all online with an easy system to use for quality. So for all of your needs, check out PCB Way in the link in the video description. Right, so welcome back. Now, um, the Frozen Mighty. I've been saying it for a long time. The Frozen Mighty is my absolute workhorse. This printer will print anything out of any resin i have i have bottles of resin that i when you print stuff you end up with like a quarter of a bottle less than a quarter of a bottle it's no good for anything so i tend to pour it into one bottle i keep pouring them in pouring them in pouring them in at this point i've got a couple of bottles of this resin i call it party resin party bottle there's so many different resins in there pour it into this just prints perfect I could put resin into a super soaker, fire it at this, and when I walked over there, what would be there would be a model on the build plate. It is unbeatable, this printer. It's just perfect. It's so rare that I ever get a foul on this. Now, I've had this machine for, oh, probably maybe getting on for a year. I don't know. It's used continuously. And it's still on the same FEP still prints perfect it's just un, un indestructible this printer i love it anyway what we've got on to um see this model on wicked and i thought yeah let's give this a go i've never done well years and years ago i did a dobby um but it was all done in fdm i'm talking six years ago something like that since then, I've never done anything Harry Potter. So I thought, this came up on Wicked's Patreon. And I was like, yeah, I like that. Let's go for that. So the characters, um, Nagini, Hedwig. So Hedwig actually keys into Harry's robes there. But if I do that, it's got to stay there when I paint it. So he will be painted separately and then glued on once Harry's painted. So the characters, Nagini and Hedwig, were all done on this. The base was actually done on the Mega, the Frozen Mega, because it was, um, it was just too big to do on this um, without orientating it in a way that means there would be so many supports on visible parts of the model. So I just stuck that on the Mega. Granted, it's a long print time. The Mega's not quick. It was, um, I think it was 42 hours for this to print. But I might knock these out in half decent time. What I will say is, hidden in this, at the front there, slide it out, you've got a wand. I'm not sure whose wand it is. Maybe it's Harry's. It's not the Elder wand, so maybe it's Harry's, but there's a couple of little... Like eyes behind there, it slides into, docks into there. So this was printed in a few different resins. This was printed in a red wax, um, Sunlu. It was printed in Sunlu clear green. Um, Sunlu clear green mixed with maybe I think some grey. And when the clear green was printing, you'll see at the back, uh, the Hogwarts castle bit on the back of the book, that was... A mix of everything out of one of the party bottles. I was running out of the clear green, so I just literally poured that in there, and it just carried on printing. And you can see, like, there's no, 
There's no difference between that and where it was. It's printed perfect. Even the base on this, it's got a lot of detail. You'll see underneath the book, it's actually got badges on the book. You've got Hedwig underneath. Is it Hedwig or is it Phoenix? I'm not entirely sure. What I'm going to do is I'm going to prime this now um, so you can then have a closer look at it. Right, so this is Harry. We're going to have to redo this head because it weren't until we primed it that we realised his glasses had broke. So it came out really nice, but we obviously broke them, removing the supports. So we need to, now when we do it, make sure we're being more careful once we re remove the supports. But here's Harry's body. And you can see he's holding a wand there, and that wand is actually detailed and printed perfect. There is a line across the middle that's going to have to fill because this was done in two parts. But there is... On his cloak here, you'll see there's a little key. That's what Hedwig keys into. But that came out really nice. Then we move on to Voldemort. And he's come out beautiful. Look at that face. And again, look at his hands and that wand holding the Elder Wand. That came out lovely, really detailed. Loads of detail in all of his swirling cape, but his face, really love that, look at that. And look, even his fingernails, his long fingernails, really good. So then we move on to, we've got Hedwig. There we go. All his feathers and everything. They printed really well. Really lovely detail. So that came out nice. We then got the bits of Nagini. And if you have a look at Nagini's mouth, let's get that into focus. Look at those teeth. They came out absolutely perfect. Look at that, that's really good. We've then got which I f what I think is Harry's wand that goes into the base. So that came out nice. This printed on the Mega the same time, same time as the base did. Then we've got the base. Now this is hollow. Let's just pull this out a bit. Right, so now we come onto the base. Now this is hollow, but it's still really heavy. So at the back of the base, you can see you've got Hogwarts, all the different parts. On the top, you've actually got text written on the pages. At the front, you'll see you've got Hogwarts and the crest. But if you look underneath, at the back, you've got Hedwig, but underneath, you've got Hogwarts Crest, again, on one side of the book, and on the other side, it's like a creeping old tree, but even the cover of the book has got all scroll work on it. Really, really good detail. And again, if you, inside here, you see them two little eyes. That's what the wand slides into and holds it into place. So as you can see, the detail on this model, it's amazing because it's, it's a wicked model and their models are always top notch. You see there's a little bit of filling to do on the characters where they're printed in two halves. Um, a little bit more precision needed with uh, priming it, but um, was just trying to get some prime on this so you could see it and you could see the detail on this still a little bit wet because i'm too impatient and i just brought it in here and wanted to film it so again as i said earlier we're gonna to have to redo the head on harry um because we didn't realize that the glasses on there was delicate as they were we just need to redo that and take a little care when we're taking the uh taking the supports off of there but as i say this 
the Frozen Mighty. This is the 8K. Um, we haven't put the um, 12K upgrade into this. This is still the 8K. Um, it's just an absolute workhorse. Everything I throw at this just prints. Doesn't like, just keeps going. You can see the hood is not the cleanest anymore. It's a printer that's used continuously. Um, I've got quite, I've got quite a few resin printers, and some I use every now and again. This is one that, if something fits on it, this is what it's going on. Because um, I know I'm, it's dependable, and I can guarantee that it's just going to print. And it's saying relatively decent print time. It's not, it's much quicker than the Mega. Um, because I think I've printed all the rest of this on here in the same time it took me to print the base on the Mega. Um, but then again, the Mega smashed it out of the park with the base. The base, you know, it's amazing. It's a big old base. It is hollow, just not very hollow. <laughs> um, it is, the whole thing is heavy. So I am going to paint this. So stay tuned because you'll probably see this in a couple of weeks because I've got a couple of bits I'm doing at the moment. I spent a long time doing the Ecto-1 that you would have seen. A lot of that again. All of that Ecto-1 was printed on this and the Mega. They did all the prints for that Ecto-1 using the photocentric resin. So I've got a couple of things I've done since then that are ready to paint and I'm in the middle of painting. So I am going to paint this. It's just going to go into my queue of things to paint but um stay tuned don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next video thanks a lot bye